backpacking into some high mountain lakes right now. You know, the summer time is so short that once you get up in those lakes, the fish are eager to eat. So we'll be throwing uh, probably big dry flies, grasshoppers. Hopefully we catch some nice cutthroat up in these lakes. Uh, there's two different lakes we're gonna try and hit, but we'll camp and we'll backpack. It'll be a good time. I have nothing else to say. <laughs> Let's keep moving. <laughs> hiking up to these lakes right now and we couldn't pass up this meadow there's like a little it's like a creek slash pond that runs through it so we're gonna see if we could catch anything out of it we go. wouldn't think there would be fish in these puddles a little cutty I just saw an eat at the top Oh, 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 oh shoot, he just doubled up on that. Drew takes us to some weird places out here and we just hiked 12 miles into the backcountry to fish a puddle, but caught a couple of fish out of it, so it was pretty fun. Unique place to catch fish. Okay, so we followed this trail. It was a really nice trail, it led to this lake. Um, we saw a few fish rising, it looked pretty good, but we know there's another lake just right over this ridge. Uh, unfortunately, there's no trail, so we're just going to bushwhack our way there. And it's one of those things where it's like, do we stay and fish this lake where we'll probably catch a few fish, or do we risk it and go to that lake where hopefully there's a lot more fish. So we're going for it. We'll see how it goes. I mean, when you see a wolf print, it's huge. Oh, dude, I've never seen wolf print. What do you think? Wolf print. Which side's good to camp on? I think right down here. Pretty hot, sweaty hike in. Yeah. Hopefully it's worth it. I think we'll catch some fish. So. First cast, oh, you missed it. A little cutty, first cast, second cast. Ooh. That was a good size fish. So far, every cast. Dude. Ooh, nice oh, nice one. Oh, dude. Good fish. <laughs> that was a nice fish. Yeah. Pretty. Not a bad one. You see him come up in the depth? <laughs> yeah, dude. Nice one. I was gonna change my fly up because I don't really like this one, but it's working, so <laughs> yeah, I'll just keep it on. Look at that thing, it's so pretty. Yeah, a lot of people think you need like a, a reel and you need to cast really far when you're fishing lakes. But on these high mountain lakes, you know, a lot of these fish just cruise the banks and are looking for terrestrials or other, other, uh, other insects. I've been standing right here, probably caught quite a few fish already. No hesitation, dude. None. Yep. Oh, dude, he denied me. Such a good eat. <laughs> oh, keep that rod up. Look at that thing. <laughs> Look at that bendo, dude. Oh, my goodness. Do you have the net? Yeah. It's a nice fish. Please don't lose him. Oh, that was nice. You just kind of... You have that net? Oh! Here. Whoa! Oh, dude, the net's right here! <laughs> that was such a good fish. Dude. They're so colored up. What? He ate my line! There you go, bud. There you go. That's a good one.
You wanna check that net? Oh yeah. Hey, get your fly out of it first. I'm not happy that we're here. Ooh, another good fish. have to get a streamer way to oh dude, boy oh, kidding dude oh dude nice that's a great fish <laughs> you're explaining it you see two fish come up to get it yeah <laughs> that was... who's that net boy tuna's that net boy <laughs> oh shit That was unscripted, folks. I don't know, dude, there's a couple fish down yeah. deep and no one was coming up, so I tied on a little streamer dropper and immediately, dude, they swam up. Two of them swam up, competed for it. This one got it. It's a pretty fish. Look at this colors. It's a high mountain lake we're catching nice fish like this. It was over, way over there on that log. Fish broke me off, straightened me out, broke me off. I think you have it on video. And took my big old Fat Albert beetle. And there it is. I've never seen this. I've actually caught a fish before with my fly in its mouth, like three hours later, but I've never just seen the fly floating around. This is crazy. All right, so today we backpacked in, uh, past a few other lakes and we ended up getting to this lake and it was a good choice. We got here around what, 5.30? And we fished for a good hour and a half or two hours and we caught tons of fish. The fishing was really fun. Cutthroat, West Slope cutthroat trout, they were just coming up and eating whatever bug was on top. I mean, we were using, we were even using short lines. They were right next to the bank. It was a really good time of fishing. Then it kind of slowed down. Now we're just eating dinner, setting up camp. Maybe it'll turn on again, we'll see. Wild huckleberries on the way up, so this morning threw them in the pancakes. Good way to start the day. Fishing's a little bit slow this morning, so not many rises out on the lake. So we're just gonna pack up and head out of here. Said we were leaving, but we packed up everything. We just gotta give it one more try. I think we can catch a couple more. Here's a you right oh, yeah. there. Yeah. Yep. 
Yeah, so far all the fish in this lake have kind of been in this 14 to 18 inch range, which is pretty fun for lakes, especially with these like wild West Slope cutthroat. Fight, these ones are fighting pretty hard. Oh, see you, dude. Oh, oh! Oh, crushed it. <laughs> yeah. That was fun. Saw him coming, cast out. He swam up real quick and just ate my bug, like five feet from the shore. The tuna's on. Little guy. Nice, dude. Nice release. <laughs> he ate a PMX. PMX? Yep, just right. a big old, big PMX fly right on top. He just came up and crushed it. Look at that. Speaking of ninjas, dude, you'll never get this. Oh, he missed it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we just got back, made it back to the truck. Um, we just did a one night back there. We hiked back and passed a couple little lakes that have some fish in them, but we knew that there was another lake off trail with no trail to it. So we bushwhacked our way up and over a ridge to get to that and definitely paid off. Got lots of good cutties there. Saw some bear tracks, wolf tracks, and lots of other critters. But uh, yeah, sometimes it uh, pays off to go a little further. We, has, we contemplated stopping at the first lake or no the second lake but then we uh, decided to keep going and it was awesome i think it paid off let us know what you think comment below i don't know dude <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching just give at least give him a thanks for watching